Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Um, this is a bonus love reading for you guys, a bonus soulmate reading for Libra. Um, this is going to be for April 2024, rest of your April. Apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see how your soulmate journey is going with your soulmate. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, you may switch the words if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below support me on there too um what else also if you guys didn't know i am doing another giveaway where i'm giving away two free 30 minute personal readings with me on zoom so if you guys are interested in that check out the details on how to enter that giveaway in the community tab on my youtube page i will make the announcement for the winners on april 12th all right so tell me about libra libra in their soulmate journey how is libra's soulmate journey going for april 2024 for libra for libra how is libra's soulmate journey going how's libra's soulmate journey going for april 2024 for libra for libra for libra Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords here and the Five of Pentacles. I mean, it could be a situation that someone here is feeling lonely without somebody here. Okay, I do feel like there was ghosting here. Like, I feel like someone here ghosted somebody. Someone here left someone out and called and just ghost, ghosted somebody. With the King of Swords and the Five of Cups. There is a situation here where I feel like you might be dealing with the air, another air sign here, Libra. And I feel like this person's in deep regret here. I do feel like this person wants to come back around and tell you how they feel. Clear the air here with you. But here's the thing. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the, and the Two of Wands here. I feel like this person doesn't really quite know what they want. There are options here. I feel like this person has a tendency to go explore other options, and then when they don't work out, they come back around towards you. Seems like this person has been very, very, very in and out, very inconsistent here. This person's definitely, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, in this non-committal energy, okay? I do feel like this person does love you here. I do feel like this person does think about you a lot. Perhaps you also think about this person a lot, thinking how they are, how they're doing and stuff like that. Uh, but in terms of this person making a decision here on you, I feel like that is not really going to happen. Uh, let's see, Five of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here. Seems like this person is definitely feeling like the shoes on the other foot here. Seems like it's an energy of like what goes around, comes around. An energy of like you made your bed, now you sleep in it sort of thing. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is realizing that they betrayed themselves when they betrayed you. Because, you know, I do feel like this person's feelings here for you, in a way, deep down inside them, is authentic. But it's not matching what how they feel and how they think here, okay? So with a ton of swords... And the Five of Wands. I do feel like this person's really pissed off at themselves here. This person's really pissed off at themselves. And I do feel like there's separation here. Because I do feel like this person does want to reconnect with you. But then they're not really sure. Okay? They're not really sure here. So I feel like this person's energy is just really, really, really confusing here, Libra. What else do we have here for Libra when it comes to your soulmate journey? What else do we have here for Libra? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on for April 2024? when it comes to your soulmate journey for Libra. So with the Seven of Wands here and the Empress. Moving forward here, Libra, you are blocking this person out. You are protecting yourself and protecting your energies from this individual here. You're in this energy of just manifesting and attracting at this time, and they feel like you don't want to deal with this person. The Empress, Libra, Taurus, with the Queen of Wands here. Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. If this person went towards a third party, you know, you're kind of like, you could have the third party here with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords. How many people is this person talking to? Okay, we have the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups here. That's a true pair. 
seems like this person is, is in a relationship that they're not really happy in. Yeah, they're coming to a realization that they are not happy with the person that they're with. But also, I feel like they can't really make a decision to come towards you yet because they're 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 stuck. They're stuck in another another relationship. We have the devil and the two of cups here. I feel like the truth is, is about to be revealed here if they're kind of like left in the dark about the situation here or that the truth has been revealed. I mean, you could apply this to your own timeline here. Tell me the Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords here and the Emperor, Aries energy with the Emperor to the Empress with the King of Cups to Queen of Cups here. And then we have the King of Swords to Queen of Swords here. Queen of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a situation here where I, where I feel like you just don't trust this person here, Libra. You don't trust this person at all. It's kind of like you might have even the level playing fields here if there's another person your person is dealing with. I feel like you went ahead and talk, started talking to somebody else here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like an equal level playing field. It's only fair that that happens, you know? Yeah, it kind of like balances out the energies too, in a way. So I'm going to balance out karma here with the uh, Queen of Wands and the Fool. Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the Empress here, the Empress here, and the Ten of Cups. Tell me the Seven of Wands. It's the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles here. I do feel like there's an energy of like, sort of like, you know, you're looking back at the situation and you feel like you don't want any part of this. Okay, I do feel, I feel like for some of you guys, you don't want to revisit this, revisit this anymore. But with the Nine of Cups here and the Ace of Wands, you know, Libra, a lot of you guys could be moving towards a new beginning here. With the Four of Wands here, the person that you were dealing with here, your soulmate, I do feel like they're definitely looking for a new beginning here, looking to reconnect with you here. You know, it's interesting. I really feel like there is some sort of revelation that someone here, you know, Obviously, you know, when you hide a secret and when you lie, it doesn't stay hidden forever. It always has a way of coming up to the surface. And I do feel like the universe is definitely revealing that to you in due time here. And I feel like it's definitely coming up. Um, yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like whoever this is, this person does want to come back here. You know, if you've been left in the dark about something here, I do feel like more will, more stuff will start to come up. Uh, let's see what else we have here for um, Libra. What else do we have here for Libra? Uh, we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Star. Yeah, so what we have here is kind of like you're in this energy of like it's time for recovery here. Something was revealed here why I feel like it was shocking to you, but I feel like you are also not really surprised here too because I feel like your intuition was really kicking in of what this person is doing perhaps behind your back here. I just feel like your intuition knew. But I also feel like you might have been in denial or that you might have been making excuses for this person. So, you know, I do feel like that narrative that you were giving yourself has changed here. Yeah. So I feel like you're definitely turning your back on the situation here and focusing on you here and focusing on yourself, focusing on your happiness and your stability and just working on your pentacles here at this time. All right, so Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.